Hey good evening. This is Manjit Rawat, your online instructor, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today, in this class, I'm going to help you to understand about the load balancers. I'm talking about the AWS, but we'll try to understand about the actual meaning of load balancer in case of on-premises, how many types of load balancers are available over Azure portal, and how many load balancers are available on our AWS portal, because you know that AWS and Azure both are competitor to each other, means we have a uh, if we talk about the popular cloud providers in market, so Amazon Web Services and Microsoft uh, Azure both are uh, means competing to each other. So means most of organization prefer to establish their resources over Amazon, but most of our organization also prefer to establish their resources over Microsoft Azure. So I'll I'll try to give you the complete information about the LB services means how many load balancers are available in Microsoft Azure and how they can perform the task and we'll try to understand about the AWS load balancer services as well. Right, so let me share my screen and try to give you the information with the help of diagram so that you can understand properly. So before that, but if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. So now we are on page of our desktop. So let's try to understand about the LB first. First of all, we just need to know about what is load balancer. And after that, we'll try to understand about the types of LB over Azure and how many types of load balancers are available over the Amazon Web Services. As per the name suggests, the meaning of load balancer, like if you plan to set up your own website, if you want to host your own website, or uh, you wanted to host your application, database, or file server, for example, you establish your website or file server using instance or virtual machine, right? Because we are talking about the cloud provider, so definitely we need to set up our environment with the help of Microsoft, with the help of Azure, uh, virtual machines. For example, we establish two different VM, like virtual machine one and virtual machine two. Both virtual machines contain our website. So what you need to do, you need to add one load balancer. Right, load balancer should coordinate to each and every instance as our virtual machines that you establish. And LB can provide you one public IP address with the help of public IP address, we just need to add our domain because if you want to host your website, so definitely you need to use your own domain name. So attach your domain name with the public IP address of load balancer and shared with entire clients. So these all are the users, you can say that, not client, you can say that these all are the users. It may be mobile user, laptop user, desktop user. So every user or every customer access your website using the domain that you added so in this case if anyone want to see if anyone want to uh, uh, means uh, uh, visit to your website what they need to do they just need to execute the open the url and type the domain name on browser and the request directly attack to the load balancer your the request from the client directly uh, accepted by the load balancer and according to the availability of lv your load balancer will share the query to virtual machine one or virtual machine two or virtual machine three. The number of instances are the virtual machines that you added in backend of load balancer. So this is the actual usage of LB. As a cloud expert, it's our responsibility. We should know about how many load balancers are available over our Amazon Web Services and how many load balancers are available over Microsoft Azure. So let's talk about Azure. I'm just going to divide in two different parts, Azure and AWS, and help you to understand load balancer, which is considered as a normal load balancer. Second, application gateway, right? The application gateway can uh, work just like a load balancer. Number three, you can say that traffic manager, okay? And number four, you can say that we have a Azure front end, right? The Azure front end is also a type of load balancer. 
four different types of load balancer services are available over at Microsoft Azure and talk about the AWS. So over AWS, you will find the load balancer application. Load balancer, right? Number second, network load balancer. Number third, gateway load balancer, yes. And number four, you know very well about the classic load balancer. So Microsoft Azure provided us a four different types of LB, normal load balancer, application gateway, traffic manager, and Azure front door, sorry, Azure front door. And as it is, Amazon Web Services can help us to set up a four different types of LB, application load balancer, network load balancer, gateway load balancer, and classic load balancer. As a cloud expert, it's our responsibility. Uh, we should know about the usage of these load balancer services. So let me start from the Azure. The normal load balancer can work with any kind of protocol like TCP and uh, UDP, both types of protocols supported by the normal load balancer. With the help of normal load balancer, we are able to set up a LB for FTP, for storage server, for databases, and for web services as well. Mm -hmm. It is responsible to balance the load for every servers. It may be SQL, it may be FTP, it may be uh, HTTP or HTTPS. I'm talking about the web server. Application Gateway is much popular for hosting the website, especially if you want to host your uh, if you want to host your website with the help of Azure Virtual Machine. Uh, so it's basically designed to support HTTP and HTTPS protocol. And you know that both protocol can help us to open a website means both protocol can work over a browser. So if you plan to host your website, if you want to host your uh, application over a browser so you should proceed with the application gateway because it will it will provide lots of security in compare of normal load balancer it will provide us option to configure waf web application firewall the web application firewall can help us to protect the load balancer and backend server that you established clear number third traffic manager which is really popular and important for every organization who want to set up their servers in different different geographical location because the traffic manager can help us to create the load balancer between two different servers those servers are available in different geographical location for example you establish one web server in location of india and another web server you wanted to set up in location of dubai and you want to create the lb between two different geographical location then Traffic manager can help us. So if you have a large organization, like a, you wanted to host your website to worldwide, different, different location of world. So you just need to proceed with traffic manager. Number third, Azure front door, as per the name suggests, the meaning of Azure front door, uh, it works just like a CDN content delivery network. The usage of CDN profile, uh, it will target the particular destination. It will target the particular location and create the cache of your existing web server. So this is all about the Azure load balancer. As it is, in case of micro, uh, in, in case of Amazon Web Services, we have a four different types of LB, like application load balancer, network load balancer, and gateway load balancer. And finally, we have a classic load balancer. The meaning of application load balancer, it always support the instances means if you have a ec2 instance you wanted to set up your web application services with the help of http and https then application load balancer can help you second network load balancer as per the name suggests network load balancer basically used whenever you try to set up your lb with the help of vpc virtual private network if you want to set up your own private network and you wanted to establish your load balancer then network load balancer come into the picture Number third, gateway load balancer. The gateway load balancer is basically provide a high level of security. If you have your on-premises firewall, you wanted to protect your entire infrastructure, then gateway load balancer can help us. Classic load balancer, which is the combination of all. So if you want to host your instance, if you want to host your website with the help of instance only, 
then classic load balancer come into the picture. Everyone, this is all information about the load balancer services. If you have any question, any doubt, please let me know. And do subscribe your own Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Take care guys. Bye-bye.